Welcome to another episode of SVN Sailing, our series dedicated to the more technical aspects of sailing. Behind me is Marina Cara di Sardi in the Gulf of Cunyana in the northeast of Sardinia. This is the home base of NSS Charter, the leading charter company in Italy that makes available to us the staff, the support, and some of the boats we use to shoot our videos. So thank you, NSS Charter. Our episode today is dedicated to tacking and jibing. It is a very special episode because it will be illustrated by Roberto Ferrarese, who will be interviewed by Chiara Anzilotti. Roberto Ferrarese is one of the greatest Italian sailors of all times. Two Olympics, two America's Cup, and winner of three world championships. So absolutely great sailor and also a very versatile person. He's an opinionist for Sky, he's a sport psychologist. So excellent person to explain uh, all the secrets about jibing and tacking. Before I pass the word to Roberto, uh, let me just remind you to uh, subscribe to SVN Network. You can do that by clicking on the link in the description. It's free. You will receive our free digital magazine. You'll be able to download for free our technical articles and have news about upcoming videos. Having said that, the word goes to Roberto. Roberto, we are sailing away from Marina Cala di Sardi. We are in a perfect downwind and this is the perfect moment to learn how to jibe. Yes, we are with light wind, 8 knots, and uh, so we can approach uh, a jibe with light wind. The key points here are uh, to make a soft maneuver. The people on board in this uh, racing boat should move uh, according to the movement of the boat in order to have uh, less steer and uh, help with the weight of the people jibing. Yes. Of course, cruising is not so important because the people are not so focused on the jibe, but we try to do the best also in uh, cruising. So now the, the important thing is that the helmsmen uh, know exactly what is the angle on the other course in order to accelerate in the best way and yes. going to the VMG that is the, the important course to get our goal as soon as possible. So if we are ready, we move the boat with the helm, with the people on board for the weight and with the main trimmer and the jib trimmer. Okay, we'll go give an end. So ready, we jibe in three, two, one, go. So now the boom in the middle. The new course is this uh, tambu. And we go. Okay, this is the moment when the boat uh, slows down a little bit. Uh, but this is the right course. And now, as we told also in the upwind uh, class, we can bear away following the change in direction of the wind opponent. Like this, the speed is going on, seven knots, 7.5. So this is the right speed and the right course for VMG. This is acronymous, velocity made good. That means the best velocity to get our goal as soon as possible. It should be a mark if we are racing or uh, a nice island if we are cruising. Roberto, we are still downwind, but now the wind has increased. We decided to, to reef the sail, but I think that jibing with this wind is much different from before. Yes, exactly. Now we have puff uh, about 25, 28 knots. So yeah, in order to sail uh, safely, we decided to reef the main, so be more conservative, especially in a cruising boat, as uh, today we are cruising. So we decided to put the reef and enjoy our sailing. And here the key points with this more wind is that the helmsman should follow in the best way the change of direction 
or apparent win in order and to prevent too much power on the boat on the new course. Of course, we have also a nice synchrony here with strong wind yep. between the helmsman and the main trimmer and the jib trimmer. So, if we are ready, also the people will change in the proper way, following the movement of the boat. If we are ready, we go. So, we jibe in three, two, one. Tambu knows about the new course and jibing. We are putting the boom in the middle of the boat. This is the best, the best way to be conservative. And now, as soon as the boom pass on the other side, the main trimmer follow is the sheet. And so we are on the new course safely and on the right side. So this is the best WMSG, the Acronymous, velocity made good, to get our goal in as soon as possible. So it could be a mark in the race or a nice island in tourism. increased. We are about 30 or 32 knots. I suppose that the tack will be, uh, will be different, a different kind of maneuver. Yes, you are right, but uh, we should consider always that the sea and the wind is never the same. So with every condition, the helmsman and the main trimmer and the gen or jib trimmer should work a lot to be in, uh, in fuzz with uh, the condition of the moment. Yes. So now we have to tack with 32 nodes. The most important thing is that the helmsman give the time to the cell trimmer to pull the new sheet in the dead angle, as we call the angle between the zero degrees and the new tack. Okay. So it will tack and we give the time to these people to follow the boat in the best way. And it's very important also that every tack, the helmsman and the main trimmer and the jib trimmer give feedback to each other to optimize this maneuver. Okay, it's so not communication important. is important. Yeah, communication is important not only in the race, but also in cruising, in training, because when we sail in a good way, when we are elegant and when we are synchronized everybody, it's much better than, uh, than if not. Of so, course. I will call the tack, Tambu know what to do, and we go in, you help the jeep? Yes. We go in three, two, one, tack. Okay, Chiara, the tack was good. Tambu gave the time to the sail trimmer to pull in the right angle. So, if we are racing or we are cruising, this is the way to tack with this wind. If we bear away too much, the boat will heal a lot. And this is against, of course, it's against synchrony and elegance, but it's also not a good uh, tack because you lose time when the boat heal too much the boat go side of course of course thank you roberto for this interesting lesson i think that now we are ready to go back to marina cara di sardi and have a peaceful evening yes i am very happy too to have joined this uh, good experience with you and I would like to suggest to the, our audience that uh, we are in the perfect blue of the sea here in Sardinia, the blue of the sky and this is uh, very good for our spirit and uh, health. So find the time to stay in nature because we need the nature, we need the long horizon and that's all. Enjoy your life. Thank you Roberto. Well, I hope you enjoyed this lesson on jibing and tacking. If you did, let us know by clicking on the like below.
Uh, I had a great fun helping with the maneuvers while Chiara was interviewing Roberto and it was great listening to Roberto Ferrarese. I learned a lot and I'm sure you did too. Before I go, let me thank, uh, besides Roberto and Chiara, also Roberto Tamburelli is in the video and he's the owner of the boat Forest Gump 3 on which the video was shot. Uh, thank you Roberto, I know you traveled a long way to uh, bring this boat here, so thank you again. And also we have to thank the skipper. Guido Bernardi. You can see him hopping around the boat or working on the winches very, very quickly, much quicker than I did. So thank you, Guido. Having said that, the appointment is to, for the next video. And this is SVN Network. I'm Gabriel Poole.